Hello everyone and welcome back to Grim Fandango. We're into part seven and I think if we've been trying to do is we've been trying to get on a boat and I don't seem to be having much luck with that, so I guess I might go back and talk to the captain. If I can remember where he is, because I still find this town so confusing right now. I'm starting to slowly get the grips of it. But, so confusing half the time. Uh, do I want to go down? I do want to go down. I want to go down the lift. So I will say sorry for the gaps in my schedule. I've been fighting a cold on and off. But I think we've been getting into it. Actually, before... No, 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 don't go back up. Before I go in there, I might pop in here. Because... I didn't talk to everyone in here. Hi, what's your name? Okay, so no one's talking to me in here. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? We hear you, daddy! Hey so guys, so Hi, what's your name? Yep, no one's talked to me yet. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lennon. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come! Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. <laughs> hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Right. Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. Hmm. Okay, so I can't believe it. There is someone called Lola, and I think I've been calling Lupe Lo Lola all this time, and there actually is a Lola, so. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Talk about this. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. So many innuendos in this conversation. It's starting to like... A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. We got a poem out of it. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Hey, how about another poem? Okay. Ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes to me. To ashes to ashes to ashes to ashes. That's perfect. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. That's what you said last time. You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. 
You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, how about another poem? OK, I, I called, called my, my cat, cat Boney till she, she said, said it wouldn't, wouldn't do. do. I said, I said, why? why? She, she said, said sister, because that's, that's what, what I've been, been calling, calling you. I thought she said she keeps saying it'll be the last one, but I don't know sure it will. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Anyway. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. I think I've had enough there. I think I need to run in and catch up to Nick, possibly, because I have no idea where they would be. Anyway, let's go back and talk to the captain. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Um, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well... Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that, but we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. All right, so I need to get Naranja's spot. Get a union card. So let me get and this get straight. Glottis if I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Sheesh. I guess so. All right. So, what kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny, because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> I'd better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. All right. So I've got a little bit more direction now. So I need to get tools and a maritime pass. I might be able to get that Charlie guy to fake me one. Though he probably asked for something in exchange, knowing this game. Everybody wants something in exchange for something. I'm pretty sure Charlie's at the bottom of the club, sitting there watching the um, roulette tables going. So, let's see. I 
think he was down there. I can't believe there was actually a lol lol this time. Probably think I was incredibly rude. Man, oh look, I can talk to him, so you might be able to do it. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Meximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Ah, so that will sort out the Union card. So, I mean, all that's left now is Mesdames and Messieurs, Fred Vosius, if you play, ladies and gentlemen, please, 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 The thing? Oh. See how that glass is doing. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Uh, Gladys? No. Compadre? What have I done? You ran away with my VIP pass. Oh dear. Let's talk to Lupe. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Hmm. So I got an empty envelope. That didn't help at all. But I got. Lola was trying to give me something. And she gave it to Lupe, which is now really confusing because I always called Lupe Lola. Oh dear. Anyway, so. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go to the, the high, high Roller Club anyway. Oh wait, no, 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 that's up, up, up. Oh no. Actually, I can probably go down, down to it for a bit, wait. Alright, so let's head off. I'll go to it from the ground entrance. Pretty sure you can get through um, up here as well. If you go this way. Yeah, and then up these stairs. There we go. We're here. Actually, that felt like it was a little quicker then. There's glass. Oh dear. Seem to be working. What's up here? There's no opening up here. No, there isn't either. Hey, what's this over here? Looks like a turkey baster. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Wait a minute, I just had an idea. There's my scythe.
tell me to stay out of the kitchen. Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, <laughs> let me out of here! Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, for crying out loud! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. So I got close in the kitchen. Mmm, mm, mm. fruity but voluminous. All right, but I think I've got to talk to. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Run! I've got to talk to. Oh, who's that? Ah. Oh. It's that Nick guy. Let's have a talk to this Nick guy. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. Is that the key? I think it was so the if key. I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Man, Gladys, you're you're really. Come on! Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Um, let's see. That's a good cat. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. I have a feeling this guy has a little bit of a ego, so let's stroke the it a little bit. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Oh, that didn't help. Oh, well, so let's go talk to this... Oh, what's through here? Ah, it's Maximino. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Hmm. Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? I know, he's actually, using my club. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. Oh dear. Maybe I need to go to get Nick to... How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Um... I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you are gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Yes. Did he leave? Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that yeah, we There's got something the key. rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Oh well. So there we go. 
Get up, you stupid cat! So, anyway. You can do it! I think that's all I can probably want to do here, so. Get through the garage. Oh my goodness, that was shocking. I need to try and get this key open. What's that? Um, yeah. It's a little something special I bought for you. Don't try to make nice, Manny. It's too late. Yeah, I think she's still angry with me. What? Cigarettes? What does it look like? Don't try to make nice, Manny. It's too late. What? It's a new compact for your makeup. Manny, I don't wear makeup. You know that. And I'm not saying you need to. Good. What? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? Yes. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! It's a bomb? Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. I think she's still a little bit angry about the metal detector. Well, at least I had the key out. I didn't expect to do it so quickly. I also didn't realize she'd treat it like a bomb. Oh well. There must be something I can do to get me. That's a good cat! Actually, just had an idea. He said there wasn't an opening in the ba barrel, but. There's no opening up here. Yeah, so maybe we could make it open. There's a key. That turkey baster I'm probably going to need at some point. That's the metal detector. Can't open her. Ah, it's doing something. Well, somebody's sleeping on the job. Oh no, Gladys has found him. Aha! Oh, mon dieu! The little nap a vous, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so toot sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, no wine! Oh, I'm going to foul him for ignoring my pleas. And then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man <laughs> should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Oh, we're in the wine cellar now. That's a lot of wine. So we got a forklift here. Yeah. Can I drive the forklift? I could drive the car. Maybe I need gloves to drive these things. Oh, I can drive it. Maybe. I'm hopping into it. Ooh, I have a forklift. Yeah. Oh no, I hopped out. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Obviously I gotta use the forklift for something. So 
Oh, there's something I'm meant to do in here. through this up right with the gaps so that's not bad maybe I gotta like put the fault through the gap oh something nearly happened there Try this one more time. Come on, I've been hopping, hopping, hopping. Come on, get moving. It takes way too long to hop in. So I've done something here. I can't squeeze through that crack. So it's not moving. It must be stuck. This lever? What am I doing? I can't squeeze through that crack. Uh, I can't squeeze. Not picking that up. Not picking that up. There's a lever here, I wonder if we can pull it. Oh, you can! Where on earth am I? A suitcase. Dios mio, it's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chowchilla Charlie. Well, I got the suitcase. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. I love the flowers. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Well, we have a card. Awesome. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> All right, so we have the thing. Awesome. So now I wonder where we can go. How up how high can you go up here? Sir, if you will please place all of your belongings on the security desk and then jump out the damn window. Oh Carla. <laughs> She's still angry with me. Forgiving me yet? Still in the anger phase. Oh well, so that doesn't work. Um, let's continue on. I'm not sure where to go next. There's something I need to do, but I'm not sure. Let's go see the police station. Hey Terry, 
That was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick! Before the movement loses its buzz! Alright, so that's what I probably need Nick for. Not sure where I should go with this, but I'm sure we'll find something. Nothing out here, is there? I am lost. Maybe I need to go down. guys doing to free Terry? Hmm. Well, I haven't been over here. Let's have a look around here. It's locked. It's locked. I have a key. It worked. Surprised that worked. Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola, did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real oh, bad. No. But he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny. But I've had a chance. Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Uh. Lola! There's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Oh, that's, that's, that's just not nice. Got a f I, I, I think that's just completely thrown me. I don't know what my brain's thinking anymore. That was just. On the guard? Let me see it. Oh, 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 one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far sighted. Uh, still no room for you on board. No word from Naranja, but he's done this before. But I'm first on the waiting list. As it were, yeah. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Is there anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Man, Lola, I didn't knew you for a little bit, but... Man, that was... That was that's horrible. What's this way again? Oh, I think this is where um, Naranja is. Looks like it hurts. Caterpillar? Me and Shag fight double. Me and them fool your bell pull fire. It's 
empty. A mouse? You push me to edge, Calavera. Ah! Eh? Who is over there? What did I do, I? When I am done with Naranja here, I am going to tattoo big floppy ears on the side of your head so people will know what a jackass you are. <laughs> Caterpillar eating a mouse? Why are you down here? Is that a shoe? Ah, get lost. Looks like it hurts. Oh no, no more. Looks like it hurts. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and. <laughs> I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. All right, so that didn't help. All right, so let's try and figure out what we're gonna do with this card. Maybe Gladys would be a good person. Painful to see you this go, way, Gladys. Go, go, You're doing it. I had no idea. Well, it... but they can't get in the high rollers loud, not can they? <laughs> get that mouse. That didn't help. Maybe after. Yeah. Get that Where mouse. Yeah, I got too much stuff. In there. I don't really want to do that. Yeah. I don't really want to do that. Oh well. Maybe I show it to Olivia. Yeah. Was it Olivia? The one in the um the club? I think it was. Run. Well, I got the union card. All that's left now is to get the tools, and I'll probably be able to do that if I get what's his face out from jail, the bee. And then all I need to do is stop Naranja from. So. Let's head up here. No, I've already did it there. I haven't really done anything to get any further in there. So... If I go to get Olivia, she's probably in the club still, I think. This doesn't work. I think the only person I can think of do giving it to would be... Maybe... Lupe? Hey, how about a... Okay. Okay, okay last, last one, one, folks. Ah, oh, this is the last one. With, With bony hands, hands, I hold my partner. On soulless feet, we cross the floor. The music stops, as if to answer. An empty knocking at the door. It seems his skin was sweet as mango when last I held him to my breast. But now... We, we dance this grim fandango oh, wow. and will for years before we rest. So that's where I guess the name Grim Fandango comes from. That was great. Really? This time I just don't have any more. Right. Well, get you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that. Not Max's girl, no way. Alright, let's try this. I don't really want to do that. You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to. What's in here? Yeah. Just the dab will drop you. Hey man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. 
Or Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to poor. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Alright. So... He's left me alone. I wonder. Probably a long shot. So it drops people? I, I don't really want to do that. I wonder if I'll be able to give that to Naranja. But oh, we had loads through there. Oh! Wow, it works. Am I literally just going to sit here and watch him give it to people? Alright, let's go to Lupe. Then I think I need to round this episode up because I've been playing for quite a while. We've done quite a lot again. I feel like I'm definitely getting close to finishing up this part. But we may need one more episode to get there. Good news is I seem to know where everything is on the island now, so... Man, that Lola scene though. Just rips your heart out. Alright, let's, let's try giving her the card. Card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have oh my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, I I'll tell you tomorrow. All right. Is it in here? There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? I'm not sure. But. That actually worked out quite well. We have um, done quite a bit. So, but this episode, if I'm looking at my timer, has been going for over 45 minutes. So, I'm going to end it there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I quite. I did quite enjoy it myself. I'm still cut up about Loop Lola, not Lupe. I'm gonna say Lupe died now. I'm mixing it up again. Really, man, that was that was a, that was a hard scene to watch. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to see more of this series. But until next time, see ya. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here!